Hello, how are you guys doing? Good. As you can probably tell from my accent, I'm from a backward little village. Uh, if you've probably heard of it, it's called London. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from a very posh white area in London. Uh, it is so posh and so white that it's even got the word white in the name. Uh, it's called Whitechapel. Uh, my parents moved there, you know, before the internet. And they were trying to move up in the world, you know, and when the Indians, when we try to move up in the world, we moved to white areas. And so they moved to Whitechapel. And uh, when we got there, we found out the only thing white in Whitechapel uh, was the local mosque. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I hate white people. Um, <laughs> Thank God Don't you guys laughed at that. Because um, <laughs> a, a few years ago, I did a gig in, uh, in Birmingham. And uh, before we went on, the MC goes, look, if anybody does any racist stuff, I'm going to pull you off straight away. So I was like, bloody hell, a white guy telling a brown guy not to be racist. <laughs> right? I've got to be racist now, right? So, so like, I was on first. So I got up there and, I'm, and I couldn't think of anything to be racist about, you know. So I got up there, saw a sea of white people, basically the same as here. Um, and I shouted, hey, white people. And they all cheered, laughed, just like you guys did. Uh, and I've done this a few times, it's worked really well. And then, you know, my head got a bit too big and I did an urban gig, one of these uh, black gigs in Brixton. Uh, and I thought, and so I got up there and I saw a sea of black people, right? <laughs> and so I just shouted, I hate black people, right? They didn't respond like you guys did. <laughs> they just folded their arms and they decided they weren't going to laugh at anything. It was the longest 10 minutes of my life. And at the end of it, I had to walk through the middle to get out. It was, uh, it was painful. But it's not, it's not white people I hate, by the way. It, it's white comedians. Because, you know, they write their notes on the back of their hands. Have you seen that, right? Shh, don't look at that. Yeah. Uh, because when I tried to do that, I, I couldn't actually read it back. Um, because, uh, because I can't read um, my own handwriting. Um, so what I do is I, I write mine on a piece of paper. Uh, it's a white piece of paper because uh, because uh, I am racist, so, uh, which, is, uh, which is nice. So maybe here, um, do do you guys remember something called Brexit? Wow. Yeah. No, no. Last year. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which way did you guys vote? Because you know, I voted, you know, you know, for Brexit. I'll tell you why. Because I know you. Because I didn't want all these bloody immigrants coming over here right? <laughs> and, and stealing the jobs I worked so hard to steal in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to just to let you know, I am I am Indian, and, and uh, what, what that means is that I had an arranged marriage. Uh, do you guys know about arranged marriages? Yeah, yeah. yeah. arranged marriage ba basically means that I am so shit at chatting up women right, that my mum. <laughs> mum had to step in. Right? Also, being Indian, I work in IT, uh, which means that even though I'm married, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> because, because I am so shit at sex that my dad had to step in. <laughs> I'm joking. It was, uh, it was my uncle. Uh, but just to let you know, by the way, I haven't been on stage for a while. Because, uh, you know, lockdown shit happens. And uh, so, you know, you may see me, you know, glance at this this thing uh, every now and then. Like, maybe every time, do you know? So, uh, do, do, do anybody here do cold showers? Anybody do cold showers? No? Nobody does. So I do cold showers. Uh, you do it? Yeah. You do? Wow. Brilliant. Is it what? Um... It's my heat in Denmark. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know, being Indian, right? I'm, I'm not that well endowed down there. And uh, after five minutes in a in a cold shower, it shrinks so much uh, that it turns to a vagina, <laughs> which is why I'm in there for 15 minutes, which, uh, which is nice. So it's, you know, it's really out. Uh, also, anybody on any kind of special diet? Sure. Uh, 
Seafood. Oh, oh, he is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at the fat meter. <laughs> I'm, I'm keto. Uh, it's also known as zero carb, um, which is uh, another way to say, well, my friends call it zero personality. Um, my doctor uh, calls it cocaine. <laughs> I'm dealer, dealer. Uh, he's, he's, in, he's in prison, so uh, if uh, anybody is supplying, I'm uh, able to buy, see me afterwards, you know, so that'll be good. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know about this thing called the alcohol rating system? No? It's, it's where a guy looks at a woman, I'm just picking at you because you're in front of me, right? And he goes, oh, she looks like a, a six-pointer, right? She's not. She's not, right? Uh, but, you know, guys do the same thing. I mean, women do the same thing. They'll look at a guy and go, he's about, you know, eight glasses of wine. Probably, right? Well, that system applies to comedians as well. So if you don't find a comedian funny, it's because you just yeah, have drunk enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically it's your fault. <laughs> so, for example, Michael McIntyre, he's been rated at one glass of shandy, right? Yeah. I've been rated at 16 pints. <laughs> Am I really that pissed right now? Off tea. Off tea. Yeah, you are, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your favorite color, mate? What the hell? Right. Uh, it's it's uh, orange. Yeah. Orange. Yeah, okay. Orange. And, and what about you, madam? Purple. Of course. Purple. Yeah. I'll tell you what my favorite color is. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this joke here, right? So, um, anybody here got so? And I I may not remember it, but let's let's go with it, right? Anybody anybody got a fetish? Do you have a fetish, mate? <laughs> What kind of fetish? Well, you know, you know what fetish, yeah, BDSM, whatever, right? Anybody? What about you, madam? Do you have a fetish? Uh, oh, well, I'm no. going to share. No, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, What's your fetish? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right again, right? But I'm so hot, right? And I'm sure the ladies will agree. I'm so hot oh, that I'm actually a fetish. <laughs> yeah, for, for men in uniforms. Um, you know, because when I'm going through security, you know, it, it turns them on. Like, it's just the light. <laughs> everywhere. It's, it's great. And if I haven't been touched for a while, I'll just go to the airport. Because <laughs> you know, you need, you need physical touch. You know, it's important, right? Uh, like I was, in, um, I was in Miami Airport a couple of years ago, and I had a, like a spring in my step. I thought, you know, maybe I was going to get through security quickly. And one of the security guards saw this spring in my step, and started walking towards me while putting with those, you know, those blue gloves? <laughs> oh, yeah. And he had the best chat up line in the world. He said, excuse me, sir, you have been randomly selected. <laughs> How do you say no to that, right? <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that took three hours. Um, uh, it was intimate. Uh, but, you know, it felt like he rushed it. You know? <laughs> You know, it would have been nice, you know, if we'd had like a, a glass of wine beforehand, you know, maybe a chat, you know, that sort of stuff. So, uh, anybody here had been searched, by the way? Yeah? I, I've been searched, you've been searched, yeah. right? Well, where was that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you pay? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've been searched so intimately, you know, it felt like a third date. You know, weeks. You know, I gave him my number, I was expecting, I, I thought we made a connection, right? And, you know, nothing. nothing, yeah, didn't ring me, I stayed by my phone, checking it over the time, nothing, yeah, nothing at all, yeah. Good, right. <laughs> uh, any, anybody here had uh, a private education? I've, I've been privately educated, obviously, you know, you can tell so. from accent. So, any other posh twats in the room? <laughs> I, I did this uh, uh, joke in Oxford, and even the bar staff, <laughs> We're putting their hands up, right? I, I, I did it in, uh, in Slough, I don't know if you guys know about Slough, and I had to explain to them, right? Well, probably it's uh, what a school was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you guys know about this thing called self-identify? You know, uh, Jordan yeah. Peterson? Oh, yeah. yeah, where, you know, somebody says, uh, I self-identify as a cat, legally you have to address them as a pussy, right? Um, and if somebody, you know, says they self-identify as a Tory, you'd have to, you know, address them as a cunt. Right? <laughs> uh, but I believe in this. I think it's a great idea. I think it works really well because I self-identify uh, as white. 
<laughs> and, and since I've, and it's been a few weeks since I've been uh, self-identified as white, and I've, and I've, you know this, this hashtag, uh, Black Lives Matter? Nah, forget that. I, I, I'm starting a new one, because white lives matter more. Because you know, since I've been identified as white, I've been ignored. And you know, being ignored is like the worst thing you can do to a human being. You know, like I go to like W.A. Smith or, or Boots or whatever, security ignore me there now. Do you know, like, I'm like, look, I'm a human being, I need touch, you know? Like nothing. So how do you guys deal, how do you guys deal with uh, you know, being ignored all the time. Like you're invisible, you know? It's not right. All right, so, you know, if you guys, you know, follow me on, on Instagram or wherever it is, and just white lives matter more. This is really important. Because you guys need therapy. You know, like, I need therapy. This is my therapy up here. You know, talking to you guys. Um, oh, yeah, did you know that in a traditional Indian wedding, right? You end up with two wives. Did you guys know that? Yeah. One's the woman I married. Uh, the other her mother. Um, I didn't know either of them. I met them both at the same time, and neither would sleep with me. So, <laughs> story of my life. Um, who here has taken uh, cocaine, by the way? <laughs> you have, right? Clearly, yeah. Well, I, I was in uh, Florida, and I ended up at some party, uh, and uh, they had no alcohol at this party, right? But they did have this long wooden table and it just had loads of white lines on it, right? And, you know, I didn't want to be a party pooper, so uh, I went up, you know, took three lines, just like everybody else. Um, and uh, it turns out that if, you, if, you if you've never taken cocaine before, and you do three lines, uh, it's too much. Uh, so basically, I overdosed. Uh, I spent 15 hours, like, out of my head. And I was even videoing myself, right? Um, and, you know, when I played it back, it was just me really making faces. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, let me, I'm, I'm gonna try this. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Uh, I'm actually from the Punjab in India, uh, which is uh, a bit like Wales. Uh, but, but rather than sheep, we've got a lot of snakes. Uh, and, they're, and they're a lot harder to shag. <laughs> but they give great blowjobs. Uh, and they swallow, you know, which is nice. <laughs> Good. And, and Kieran was mentioning about some uh, a program. I, I've actually auditioned for Naked Attraction, right? Um, and, and you have to be naked, like for the whole hour. You've got this camera and people in front of you, and you're completely bollock naked for the whole hour. And being Indian, you know, I said uh, I do yoga, right? Uh, and they were like, do a, do a posture, you know, do, do some yoga in front of you. And I, I, I didn't at that time I used to do yoga, uh, so I couldn't think of anything. So it's like, and literally, you know, my mind completely went blank, and I was like trying to do this and this, and they kept insisting that I should do some yoga. And I think in the end, they figured out that oh, this is bullshit. Yeah. Uh, so I have actually yeah. since then taken up yoga, uh, <laughs> just so that if anybody asks me, I yeah, know. Yeah, I, yeah. So I do tantric yoga. I don't know if you guys know about yeah. this. Uh, it's, whoa, brilliant, yeah. yeah. So I make love for like two, three, four hours uh, in the morning. And in the evening, so just uh, I'm, I'm just boasting there. So. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I need cold showers. Just so, you know, uh, good point. I reckon I've done all my material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank you.